Welcome in to another edition of Monday Night Quarterback. I'm your host, Kevin Wolf, joined by Raphael and Gino. Um, so we're going to be talking a little bit about yesterday's games. And I wanted to start off with what do you guys think was the most impressive performance of this weekend? We'll start with Raph. Oof, most impressive performance this past weekend. Well, uh, Jaguars defense continues to just be phenomenal, but can't really read too much into it because the Jets offensive line was pitiful and the running game has been continually pitiful. That's honestly the only game I really focused on because I had uh, I was editing for that game and didn't really focus on any other. You know, Kev, I got to go with the Baltimore Ravens against the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday night. You know, that divisional game's always a blast, but after the Steelers went on a big roll, tied it up right before half, they had all the momentum going into half. I thought it was going to be another Big Ben show, A.B. Did not happen. Second half, uh, Ravens came out and really handled their, handled their business. Okay, another question, uh, and I'll bounce it to the audience after this, but who do you guys think, moving forward through the season, is the team with the most to prove? Oof. I want to see if the I want to see if the Rams can finish it out. You know, can continue to do this and really ride it out. I want to see if KC and uh, and Mahomes could also do the same and prove that they're actually something to uh, be intimidated by going into Arrowhead in the playoffs with a guy like Mahomes out there. I'm gonna go with the Minnesota Vikings. Kirk Cousins, new quarterback there. Their their fans are really excited. But then you know they were looking good for the first couple weeks. Had a real close game with the Packers. Ended in a tie. But then. Buffalo, I don't know what happened, lost 20, 26 to 3, what it was, I don't know. So I don't know if they're legit. I think they've got a lot to prove. That was Monday Night Quarterback. Thank you guys for joining us. Now we're gonna take some answer uh, now we're gonna take some questions from the audience. Do you think the Lions have a chance this year or was that game against the Patriots just a fluke? So gathering that, do you guys think that, that Detroit Lions performance on Sunday night against the Patriots was something that is going to be consistent for this Lions team, or do you think that was just a one-night thing and Matt Patricia, the familiarity there with Bill Belichick? Definitely would lean more there. I don't, I'm not reading too much into the uh, Detroit Lions right now. I couldn't agree more with Raph here. Uh, like he said last week on the segment, I think that was a one-time deal. That was the Detroit Lions Super Bowl and Matt Patricia. That was the biggest game of the year for them. So I do not think they're legit, especially after that Jets performance week one. I can never see them as a real team. A classic question here, but how was the weekend for you two? Yeah, I mean, watch some football, you know. Um, had to go to work uh, near the World Trade Center. I had to go to CBS to go edit some of those games. So. Uh, pretty pretty uneventful. <laughs> yeah, I had a fun weekend. I went to the city Friday with some friends, and then Saturday morning I coached football at Fordham Prep High School, the freshman team. Made a game out in Staten Island at like 8 a.m. It was just a disaster. I had to be up at like 6. But How many hours um, would you say approximately you watch sports a week? <laughs> so I can answer for myself, and man, I would have to do the math in my head, but it's multiple hours a day it's definitely my passion yeah i i, I want to preface it by saying like my job revolves around it a little bit so i don't but like a lot <laughs> a uh, lot i'd say for 10 hours alone on sunday so sure. uh, i mean not that much outside of sunday football <laughs> oh wait i have one more question who won the tiebreaker games today oh, I didn't uh dodgers won and the brewers uh, and the cubs lost yeah brewers so dodgers won pretty uh, handily <laughs> 